Hello? Hello? Humbug still. Then, do so then. You don't believe in me, do you? No, I don't. Why do you doubt what you see? Because I've had a slight stomach disorder, which has undoubtedly affected my vision. You're an hallucination, probably brought on by an undigested bit of beef or a blob of mustard. That's what you are. You're a blob, must it? I tell you, Scrooge, there's more of grave than of gravy about me. You do not exist, Jacob Marley. Humbug, I tell you. Humbug! Humbug, eh? Now! Do you believe in me? <laughs> Absolutely. I thank you for your visit and your good counsel. And now I bid you a fond farewell. <coughs> Why do you walk the earth, and what do you want with me? I am doomed to wander through the world and witness what I cannot share, but might have shared on earth and turned to happiness. Why are you fettered by that great chain? I made the chain I forged in life. I made it link by link and yard by yard. And now I can never be rid of it any more than you can be rid of yours. Mine? Imagine the weight and the length of the chain you are making for yourself. Why, it was as long and as heavy as this seven Christmases ago. And you've labored on it mightily ever since. It's a terrible, ponderous chain you are made. Jacob, old Jacob Marley, speak comfort to me. I have none to give. I cannot, very little is permitted to me. I cannot rest, I cannot stay, I cannot linger anywhere. When I lived on earth, my spirit, like yours, never left the narrow limits of our county house. You are always a good man of business, Jacob. Business? Mankind is our business. But how seldom do we attend to it. I know this because I have sat invisible at your elbow for many and many a day in your office. My office? Watching me? Hear me now, my time is short. I have come tonight to warn you. It is your only hope. No! Jacob! No! See the phantoms filling the air around you. They astound you. I can tell these inhabitants are Make 